That's a hidden item. It's not a treasure chest or anything, so. Alright. Teleporter. Alright. Navi-chan. Fun fact, by the way. <laughs> I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet. Now, normally when you have a character like Navi-chan here, with a staff, their level 3 attack does damage to every enemy, and it's pretty weak. <laughs> However, comma, the programmers messed up a little bit. They switched the strength stat for Navi-chan with Griko-san. So Griko-san has the lowest physical attack of any fighting character, I believe. While Navi-chan has the highest physical damage for any staff user. So keep that little tidbit of information in mind when selecting which character you want. All right. Let's allocate her some stuff. At least it's, that is if my memory is serving me properly, which normally it does. But after the <laughs> Dragon Quest LP, where my tidbits of information were almost always wrong, I'm second-guessing myself quite often. All right. Hello. I'm used to having so much bigger, so much more uh, space. Or more elements. There we go. Okay. Let's save, just in case. Now, I've, I've heard rumors that if you don't have her here, you won't, you will still get the, um, <laughs> uh, tech. But if you do have her here, you won't. I'm not 100% sure on that. I recommend being safe and not having her in your party. But that's your choice. All right, let's kill off some dwarves. <laughs> if you trust your nature, why are you doing this? Honestly, if you trust your nature and all these all the creatures that live with it, you won't be attacking dwarf or the uh, fairies. I mean, is that making sense to any of y'all? All right. I'm missing horribly. Since these are yellow creatures, Navi Chan would actually be helpful here. So would Mel Chan, she's yellow as well. No, we need green. There. This is a great place to level up, uh, get elements for Pip Chan for evil side, by the way. It's usually best with a staff character to use two. And when there's one enemy left, you can use the one. Fun fact. Uh, her tech name changes based off of your character's name. It takes the first three letters of her name and puts it in front of whatever element tech is supposed to be. For example, her name is Razli, originally. So, the spell would have been called Razstar instead. 
Alright. I don't know why I'm killing them. I just want to, I guess. Inferno. I'm sorry, I just had, had a sudden flashback to uh, Legend of Dragoon and Darts edition, second edition. For those that don't know, go to Kachinasan's page and check out her LP on it. It's really good. I do plan on doing an LP for it uh, eventually in the future, so. Uh, no chests. You don't get anything for killing all the dwarves, mind you. That chest? No, it's a fairy. The reason why I have uh, Navi -san, Chan is because of a something I'm testing out. So, they really need to get over them. Themselves, honestly. Granted, so do a lot of people I know. Ah, uh, the Heho Chorus. I'll use a Recover All with Surge Sun. Okay. Recover All. Alright. Kitsa. Dead. Yosh. Next. Inferno. Get, do a lot of damage to all of them. Now, since this is our first actual staff character, I should go through the explanation of the third of the level three attack. Um there are two basic attacks. There's one where you hit the enemy with it, there's one where you hit them harder. The third one hits every enemy with a magic ball. Now here's where there's a problem with the staff characters. If you hit if you hit one, you don't get the points for your level. You have to hit all of them. For example, well, I hit one of them. I hit one of them, but I didn't get level three elements. So that means, obviously, that in order for you to do it, you have to decrease the possibility of missing, so killing as many enemies before using the level 3 hit. Or else you'll just miss. So yeah, staff characters are a little aggravating, in my opinion. Which is why you'll rarely see me use one. Except for maybe Guile. I like using him. Or Guile-san, sorry. Yay, new star level. Holy crap. That's a lot of yellow. Wow, that last one was stupid. He just fell on the floor. <laughs> Alright. Sorry. <laughs> it's been a while since I've heard the music. <laughs> it's 
excuse me. Alright. Come on. It's nice that they can't do that with a uh, without a third party member. That whole heal course thing. Dead. Gosh. Fireball plus three. There we go. Alright, this is how you access the safe one, by the way. Only way to access it. Oop. Well, until, you know, you come back here later. I guess. Or if you come back here later. Just get past. The chest, um, yeah, I'll kill it. All right. It's nothing really fancy, I guess, if memory serves. Ah, three of them. Got killed one quickly. Now, I'm not sure if, you know, regular dwarves can actually cast the Heal Chorus. I think it has to be one where you get a star level from it for them to be able to use it. Not sure on that, probably wrong. Usually am. Alright. Since it's almost dead, I'll just kill it. Alright, I'll, I'll use the three. These enemies are actually pretty slow at dodging, so you have a pretty good chance of hitting them. Nah, the chan. Okay. It's almost dead. Alright, come on. There we go. HP and strength, that's always nice. Open. Skelly dress. Uh, let's see how good this is. It can only be attached to females, so... Iron's better, so let's give it to her. Alright, time to be quiet again. What's funny is if you do have Razzly in your party when you do the Hydra battle, you find out that the Hydra was actually pregnant. So the Hydra is not extinct in this world. And this is the infamous Hiho tank, the bane of our existence in the early part of the game. This creature, or this machine, has 1000 HP. It will drop either a knee pad or iron. You can steal either a screw or knee pad from it. And it will get about 500 gold for killing it. Just it. First things first, do not attack him yet. 